Hi, in this video we're going to show you how you could quickly and easily block programs and also hide or block access to certain drives uh, using a free program called Simple Run Blocker. So once you download it, it will be a zip file, so you need to extract the files before running it. Don't try and run it from within the zip file. So then you'll have this Run Block EXE. Double click it. So this will block only files that are executable, so .exe files. So let's say we have this one here, .exe. We just drag that into the list, or you could click on the uh, plus button and browse to your .exe files, or you could drag your shortcut. Even though it's a word shortcut, it knows it's a shortcut to windward.exe. So once you have your list there, just click on save there. And now when somebody tries to open it, it's blocked. Same here, blocked. So even if you have a file with the same name, so I have a copy of this on the E drive. You can see it's been blocked, but if you rename the file, this is one of the downsides here. Just put anything or take something away, then you're able to open it. But that's not going to apply to your programs because if you rename windward.exe, it's not going to run anyways. And this will only apply to the currently logged in user. If somebody else logs in with their account, it's not going to apply to them. So if you change your mind, you don't want anything, just click on Remove. Save your settings. And then there's also the Hide or Lock Drives option. So this shows every drive letter, but obviously you don't have A through Z. So this computer has an E drive. So what you want to do first is pick what you want to do. So if you want to lock drives or hide drives, because if you pick lock drives, click on the E drive, and then change your mind to hide, it's going to uncheck it. So you have to make sure you check it again. OK, so we're going to lock the E drive, apply the changes. Then you have to restart Windows Explorer for it to be applied. You'll see your icons disappear. OK, so here's our E-Drive. That's locked. All right, so now we're going to hide the drive instead. We start Windows Explorer. This PC, now we don't have our E-Drive there. Then you also have this drive to mark existing drives, which will mark all the drives that you have on your computer, which obviously you don't want to do that. Okay, so we'll clear all these out. So what you need to do to, to undo it, because even if you uncheck it, click Apply Settings, Restart Explorer, and then you go back. It might still be blocked, so you need to click on Reset Setting, Restart Windows Explorer. And now we're back in. So just be careful when using this, obviously. And then also from the settings, um, you could do this block Microsoft Store, but that'll just take you to their Ask Admin program, which will let you do it. It won't actually block it in here. It's just like a, a link to get to the website for that. So that's pretty much how it works. It's just something really simple, you know, probably better off for the kids or just for people who aren't too computer savvy on your computer if you want to block something or hard to drive in case they use the same user account. Because like I said, it's not going to work with other user accounts. So let's do one more test here. Block Word. Save it. Now let's log off and back on here. OK, let's try it again. OK, so it still kept it for the uh, log off and back on. So just make sure if you use this not to uh, get rid of this program because you're going to need it to unlock your uh, programs again. All right, so I'll put a link in the description. You could download it and check it out for yourself. But like I said, just be careful using it so you don't lock yourself out of something you don't want to be locked out of. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.